this 3d cad modeling tutorial is going to be very special for you because not only that we are going to make the 3d cad model of this plan chart but we are going to see the following issues and their solutions how to mirror a feature when the body is not even a symmetric one we will see how it is possible in this video not only that we will see how to make this sweep cut in the solidworks and also we will see where to use the mid plane and where to use the blind in solidworks so let's begin so first of all select file click on new select part here then click ok select the top plane and click on sketch option now select this circle click at this origin and make a circle here then select the smart dimension tool in order to define the parameter of this circle but make sure that you have selected this mmgs as units now click on this circle and make the diameter as 25 millimeter we have to extrude it now for that go to features select extruded boss space this command here and in direction one define mid plane here and for extrusion length define 50 millimeter and then check this box so now let's uh, change the background to plain white and apply some appearance go to metals here and then in steel I am specifying this material so select this face click on sketch again select the circle click at this origin make a circle here and now let's define the diameter of this circle let's make it as 21 and then go to features select extruded ball space again and here you can see half of the extrusion is inside of the previous one you can see the yellow circle inside of the body which will definitely cause the dimensional issues in our final part so drop down this menu and select here blind and here you can see there is no dimensional issues so specify the length of extrusion as 6 I am telling again that you have to specify here blind and then check this box after that select this surface again click on sketch again and make a circle at this origin and then select this smart dimensioning tool and specify the diameter of this circle specify the diameter as 25 millimeter and then go to features again select extruded ball space again and now specify 25 millimeter and blind for the extrusion check this box select this surface click on sketch again and make a circle here at this region specify the diameter of this circle as 35 millimeter and we will be extruding this circle up to 5 millimeter only so specify here 5 blind has already been specified and then check this box and now we are only left with the, the last circle so select this surface and click on sketch here select the circle again and at this origin make a circle now specify the diameter of the circle as 25 and now for extrusion go to features select extruded ball space and extrude it up to 50 millimeter and then specify make sure that you have specified blind here and then check this box and now we have to select this plane in my case it is a front plane so right click on this front plane and then select this sketch option select this line command zoom in select the line command and make a line like this and now let's specify the length of this line as 40 millimeter let's 
let me show you how much it is okay now select this line again and select this uh, yellow point at this corner and specify the length as one and now exit the sketch select this face and click on sketch now select a circle here and make a circle here at uh, this point of the line and now let's specify the diameter of this circle as 5 millimeter and now just exit the sketch so exit the sketch we have to edit the previous sketch so right click on this sketch select three point arc here select this point click here outside of the shaft body and then click here so we have to specify three points and then select this smart dimensioning tool and specify the radius of this circle as 5 check this box here and now it's ready for the swept cut exit the sketch here and feature select this swept cut option this one okay so expand this bar in our first window we have to select this circle and in our second window we have to select this line and then check this box and here you can see the swept cut has been created and now select this circular pattern command in this direction window select this circle and in features select this swept cut that we have made this one and you can increase this number of the swept cuts okay i am specifying here 11 and then check this box here you can see the splines have been created and now let's mirror these supplies to the other face so select your mirror command and let me show you what beginners do here so they will specify any any plane first of all so of course this front plane is not going to work here so let's delete it and now select this okay and uh, in features to mirror let's select these swap cut so of course it will not going to work so let's see how it's going to work cross this window here and in this reference geometry select the plane select this surface and now in this uh, second reference select this surface and we have the plane at the mid check this box select the mirror again and here you can see the plane is automatically selected so let's delete this plane here in this window and let me manually select it again so select this plane that we have recently created and in this features to mirror select this swept cut and here you can see this is the proper method of uh, uh, mirroring a feature in the solidworks even though this shaft is not a symmetric shaft but still we can mirror the features if we know how to mirror so now select this chamfer command and select these edges specify here one and this one is too much select here 0 0.75 then click enter and now let's specify these edges that you want to chamfer one by one this edge and this one and then click enter so the shaft is ready this is the supply shaft 
and now let's hide this plane so if you find this video tutorial helpful then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you